If you own a laptop, are you a side opener or are you a center opener? Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, hey, today I want to talk a few minutes about uh, laptop hinges and lids. As I showed you in the opening there, I was asking when you open your laptop, do you open it from the center or you kind of more for the side or maybe a combination of both? Well, I always recommend that you open it from the center so you're going to put equal pressure on the or strain or stress on the hinges in the back, of course, depending on the model. Um, it's just the best advice I can give people when somebody comes to pick up their new laptop they bought from me. It's one of the things I show them when you open your laptop, you know, open it from the center. You can see I got a Dell here. This isn't the one I showed you in the opening. That was a brand new Acer. Um, but this one's toast. The hinge support arm is broke. The actual hinge itself broke away from the lid. It's going to, you know, if we were going to fix it, which I'm not, it would require a new lid, new set of hinges. And fortunately, this one didn't break the screen yet. But I have a whole bunch of examples over here. I'm just, this is going to make you cringe, but I'm going to close it anyway. Um, that, like that Acer I showed you in the opening. This is one that's that's broke. It's going to be hard to see, but there's a plastic on the back. This is the actual hinge here on the back. There's a plastic uh, receptacle that the screws for the hinge actually go into, and it's just basically glued to the bottom to the back side of this aluminum lid. I know that's hard to see, um, but this one here just it it broke, and that's that. This is what it looks like when it's still attached over on this side here. You can see it's still attached. But lately I've gotten a rash of these hinges that are broken from the lid. Um, I'd say in the last month I've gotten four or five. A couple opted to go ahead and repair it. A couple decided, eh, I'll just get a new laptop. So if your laptop's three to four years old, like this Dell I got here, I think it's um, about four years old. Um, they didn't want to fix it company just bought them a brand new laptop but I want to take this apart real quick if I can here like I said this is cringeworthy opening this thing up the bezel is about to break I don't care if I break it more but let me go ahead and try to get this bezel off here I know it's gonna be hard for you to see guys but I just want to get it off I'll try to salvage the screen but I got a whole pile of examples over here I want to show you <coughs> When you open your laptop from the side or you pick it up by the lid and you're moving and carrying around, I have customers that actually do that. They'll come walking in with their laptop open, carrying it by the lid because they want to show me something that popped up on the screen. I just tell them, don't carry it like that. It's not a good idea. I want to try to get this bezel off in one piece. If I can, I'm going to show you the damage that we got going on in that corner back there. <laughs> It's a mess. Now, this can be fixed. So we were able to get that off in one piece, barely. But you can see it's just a mess over here. Now, when this first started, this customer told me, she told me, yeah, it kind of came loose and she was just kind of more careful and careful. But what happened here is, let me zoom in if I can here. What happened over in the corner here is you can see that, that that metal support arm going up the side, it broke. So now it's gonna require um, a set of new hinges, a lot more labor. It's very labor intensive to put new hinges in or just to replace the lid. Right back out. Um, I do them all the time. Done a lot of different brands, different models, but you gotta rerun, you know, LVDS cables, antenna wires are sometimes real real tricky and sometimes you even have to replace the Wi-Fi antenna um, all together because it's really difficult to get it off without breaking the, the antenna itself. Let me pop the screen out of there. A little easier to see. But I, I just wanted to show you this that 
you know, if you have a laptop and it starts kind of separating and coming loose down in the corner and you can see the bezel kind of popping out a little bit and it feels loose, get it in sooner than later if you want to salvage it. Don't put duct tape on it or I've seen all that. People put duct tape, they glob a bunch of glue down in there, super glue or hot milk glue thinking that's going to help because they just don't know how these are built. And Sometimes people think, oh, that's probably real easy to fix. Well, it's not, even for a pro like me. Here's, get a hold of these. I've got the screen off. But down here in the corner, you see there's, I mean, this is our hinge, um, but th this is where it's broke away, this little bar support arm. Now, a lot of the new mo models don't have these, like the screens that have the no tabs, they call it. They just use adhesive to mount it to the lid. Um, they're getting thinner and thinner every year, it seems like. But some of these, you know, older models, even some of the new ones, still use these metal support arms that go up, you know, to give the lid some rigidity, so to speak. Um, but all the wires are in behind all this stuff, and it's just, here's our Wi-Fi antenna wires. Trying to peel these off without breaking them is a very difficult at best. Um, so like a new lid for this one runs about 40, 40 to 50 dollars depending on where you get it but it's just the plain old lid you can get them brand new um, but like these little here's the little Phillips screw it's got a real wide head on it kind of spread the holding power out but on the back and it's going to be hard for you to see that the plastic is still attached and there's a brass insert that that little screw goes into that is just a piece of plastic on the back side of the lid and over time opening and closing it like from one side or the other and not like lifting it from the center can put undue stress on one side or the other so if you have a laptop keep that in mind don't pick it up and carry it around by the lid it's just plastic in there guys I don't care I don't care what it is or what model it is um, let me get rid of the screen real quick this is actually a working laptop other than it's just all blowing apart back there. It looks like heck, but it is it is fixable. I'm not gonna fix this. New set of hinges, gonna run you about 25, 30 bucks for the hinges, uh, the cost of the lid, and then whatever labor. Um, I try to be real fair when I replace these, but like I said, I, when I do them, I do them right. I do a really good job and I guarantee my work. Uh, I did have, let me get rid of this. So we got a very dirty, but probably a workable, usable screen. <clears throat> I'm going to try to close this again. <laughs> Put the hinge back down. Like this Acer over here. This is an Aspire 5. It's an AMD version. The Intel versions are the same. But over in the back here where it came apart, it came unglued, so to speak, because this is very thin aluminum. So, you know, they can't put screws in it, obviously. So it's basically just glued on there. The little inserts that the screws go into are just stuck on there with an adhesive. I had one of these quite a while back that I tried to repair using some um, JB Weld, I believe it was. It was either Loctite or JB Weld. Um, you can't get the, the, the adhesive too thick in there. Otherwise, you have trouble getting the bezel back on right for, for it to look right, you know, make it pretty. Um, I was pretty happy about it, but about two months later, it came back and it broke again. It just can't really blame it on the customer. It was just what it was. So at that point, that customer, I think, just decided to get a new laptop. But anyway, I've repaired a couple of these already, put new lids on them. These are kind of a pain to fix. Here's a, this is an Inspiron 5570, by the way. Here's a Lenovo idea pad, not that old. I think this one's got a, 8th gen Intel Core i3, watch when I open this one, it's all blowing apart over here on this side. And unfortunately this one took out the screen. Started coming loose um, for a few weeks, I kept using it and they kept squeezing it, trying to make it go back together and they blew out the screen and again it is fixable, you're talking a new screen, new lid, um, and the support arm in there is shot. I can see it's got a kink in it and once that happens it's time to replace the the hinges. Let me pop this one off for you. 
So yeah, just lately I've been getting a, quite a few of these in. Just depending on the age, I guess. So over here, you can see this one's all, it's going to be hard to see, but it's all separated over here. Same thing, the plastic little inserts that uh, the screws go into, they have little brass inserts in them that the, the threaded screw goes into. Um, and the arm here is kinked as well for the support arm that attaches is part of the hinge mechanism that goes inside and all around and sometimes replacing hinges is just a pain in the butt. In some cases you got to remove the motherboard, disconnect, tons of things and like I said it's just very labor intensive but this one here is basically just you know scrap unfortunately. Um, here's another Acer over here. This is a 7th gen Core i5. Again this is a working laptop except this one's blowing apart on both sides and this one here I remember the guy he had tape on it and all kinds of stuff but here's the there's the there's the hinge pushed down you can see the brass inserts with the screws are still attached but the plastic is all blowing out of the lid so you're looking at uh, you know a new cover a lot of labor to fix this one so I just again I just have a whole pile of them here today. Here's one that's not actually broke. This is another Dell. This is an older AMD, A oops, hit the camera, sorry, an A10. But here's what they look like when they're not broke. This has got the support arms going up the side, screws, everything's still intact here. So, but over time, you know, from opening these, like, say, from the side, you're putting a lot of undo stress on one side over the other so if you open it from the middle on a regular basis you should get maybe more life out of your hinge areas because this is all plastic and in some cases very thin aluminum that we're dealing with here some of the higher end laptops same thing I, I repaired replaced the lid on a $900 Dell Core i7 that was only about 14 months old here just a week or two ago she didn't want to replace it and you know she was more than happy to pay to have it fixed i generally just charge whatever the cost of the parts are and i don't i make no money on those on just my labor which could be anywhere from 75 to 150 dollars just depending on the on the model and how much labor i'm going to have into it <clears throat> but here's some other here's another dell with the hinges still attached but you know these go inside underneath by the motherboard and just you know again these ones are still good but I got all kinds of them that I keep around for extra. Here's uh, another Lenovo that's still good. Got the hinges. No, um, and this one's got the support arms on the side, but it's not uh, attached to the actual hinge. Just depending on the depending on the age or the year of the laptop, we'll tell you. Here's a here's an ASUS. This is from a Vivo book. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to kind of go over the hinge situation <clears throat> um, technically you know when people come in I see that separation like that on a on their laptop you know I, nine times out of ten they it's not the hinges that are broke hinges are usually fine it's just that the lid the plastic screw areas that hold the hinges to the lid are messed up so you can see on this Lenovo here that I was starting to take apart over here in the corner this metal support bar going up the side here is completely bent and kink there so you know as soon as you try to straighten it out it's just going to completely weaken it if not break it off completely so but this one here unfortunately blew the screen out <clears throat> and again um after i do a repair like this i replace the lid and or hinges or both when the customer comes to pick up the job once i finished it i always hand them the new laptop and I say yeah go ahead and open up check it out a lot of the times I'll see them, they'll, they'll grab their laptop and they'll open it up from the side. So I give them, you know, a suggestion right from the get-go. I said, you know, you really should just try to open it from the center whenever possible. And don't pick it up and carry it around like this to go, hey, check out my laptop. You know, that's just not a good thing to do. Probably won't break right away, but over time it's just going to put more stress on that plastic. Eventually it's just going to break and it only gets worse from there. So anyway, guys, I hope you found that somewhat informative and um, yeah I've been getting a lot of these lately and this was the latest one they already got a new computer so I'm just gonna part this bad boy out and be done with it 
So I hope you found it helpful. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day.